Welcome to video two on the Skag Cheetah One. The first video went over an incredible deal, never before seen, that we're running on these mowers this year on the Cheetah One. With that being said, we thought maybe there were some folks out there who wouldn't know exactly what makes a Cheetah a Cheetah versus the other cats in the Skag lineup. So we're gonna walk you through the Skag Cheetah One mower now. Just like we do with any machine, let's start top to bottom. So first thing you're gonna notice is the two-tone seat that Skag's using across their lineup. This seat is incredibly comfortable and it looks great. The next thing you should notice as we move down is there's an ISO-mounted platform that this seat is on. This is unique to the Skag Cheetah family. And that is simply adjustable. It's adjustable and it's simply attached by only a few mounting points. It's simple, it's got coil over suspension, and it's very, very comfortable. I can tell you from personal experience using this mower last year to mow the grounds around our office here, this is one comfortable, comfortable mower. Okay, so moving down, you'll see the steering handles here. These are quick fit steering handles. Skag uses these on their commercial mowers, and you can adjust to any size operator, which is very important. Suspension, adjustable to any size operator, or preference really, from firm to soft. The next thing you'll notice about this machine are the gas tanks as we're moving down. These gas tanks here, 15 gallons, 15 gallons of gas. That's gonna get you through a full day, might even get you through two full days of heavy, heavy mowing without having to refill. Time is money. The next thing as we move down, and this is a unique Skag feature as well, is a double tube construction on the frame. That makes this Skag unit very, very tough. This double tomb construction is a, is a real hallmark of the top line of the Skag series, and this Cheetah has it. Let's have a look under the hood here at the engine. This 37 Briggs EFI engine comes with an ultra premium Donaldson air, air cleaner air filter assembly. The other thing you notice is this is very easy to access for service. Oil check, oil fill, oil filter. All very easy to access on this mower. While we have the hood up, you'll notice back here, integrated ZT5400 hydro gear transaxles. That's the drive system on this mower. That's what allows this mower to go 16 miles an hour. This is, these are some of the biggest hydro gear, or any brand, transaxles that are out there. They can really move some, some fluid and that's what allows you to really, really go fast on this mower. So, one of the fastest uh, mowers out there, period. 16 mile an hour ground speed. And you can see the auxiliary cooling fans when you take a look down in there. Okay, so while we're on this side, come on around here. Let's talk about the Tiger's Eye. This is the operator's platform here. You've got a Skag Tiger's Eye there. The Tiger's Eye is an advanced monitoring system and it really helps you out with troubleshooting things like a no start condition. Maybe the PTO switch is not all the way down or maybe you're not, uh, uh, you know, person, operator isn't on the seat or the parking brake isn't, isn't um, engaged. And so that's what uh, the Tiger's Eye can really help you out with that. It's a really neat system. Another thing that the Skag Cheetah One comes with is the Skag Velocity Plus deck. This is a true claim to fame. This deck has been around for a while now and that's because it just works. High grass, wet grass, any type of tough cutting conditions, you name it, this, mo this mower is gonna be able to cut it and leave a beautiful manicured cut behind. So, how does it do that? First is, that you'll notice is, the very wide discharge opening here. This thing is gonna get the grass cut and get it discharged and out without clogging, clumping, or any types of issues like that that you may be used to from another competitive mower brand. Also under there you'll notice Skag's spindles. Skag spindle assemblies are made, they're cast iron, and they're made with taper roller, roller bearings and a through bolt. If you compare that to competitive spindles, you'll notice ball bearings, which can't handle a load, a sideways load, as good. And you'll also notice that most of the competitive uh, spindles are sealed, non-greasable. Skags are gre fully greasable. So the other cool thing about Skag spindles is that they're made in-house. Most competitive brands just buy their spindles from a parts manufacturer. Skag doesn't do that. They have a custom manufacturing process set up just to build their spindles in-house. Really, really cool. So. Um, obviously we have the uh, Skag Marbane blades, those are standard, those last and, and, and are much better than most of the blade uh, types that are out there. Some other touches that some people might call small, but our attention to detail include fully captured 
anti-scalp wheels here in the front and on the side, fully captured meaning bracketed on both sides. You've got another one over there. And notice here, this is a rub plate on your trim side, protecting the mower and the deck from abrasion. We hope that this walkthrough of the Skag Cheetah 1 gives you a good idea of what makes this mower so incredible. This is a truly premium piece of equipment. It's got heavy duty drive system, real big engine, comfort. This is the real deal, fuel savings. So if you're interested in learning more, Obviously your best bet is always to visit your local Skag dealer. Skag dealers exist across the whole Northeast and really the whole country and they're ready to answer your questions. They can do a better job than I can and they can take more time with you on the sales floor. For those dealers that do have these Skag Cheetah ones in stock, in 2020 the Skag Cheetah one deal is currently going on. So you can click here and take a look at some information on that. We'll give you pricing and monthly payments and things like that if you're interested. The other thing you do, drop a comment here and we'll see what we can do to answer them. Thanks for watching the video.